Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Today we're gonna to be switching out and installing this church toilet seat, okay? So, uh, you've got a seat that's broken, nasty, falling apart. This one here has got a crack in it, about ready to uh, snap and then pinch somebody's butt really good. So we gotta get rid of it. So first things first, obviously go to the store and pick out a toilet seat. This is one of the most current models at Lowe's as of December 2020, okay? So, open the box. It's almost like I already opened the box and put it back in there just for the video. All right, get it out. And get, get your parts and stuff out. Okay. So, first we want to make sure, before we rip the other seat off, okay, and start this process, we got everything here. Obviously, there's a seat. And then there's your little bag of bolts. Okay. That's really about it. So, did you get the right seat? Let's come take a look at the old one. Okay, this is what's considered a round front toilet, okay? Got a run, round front seat. It's the same size, same color. Uh, really, the only thing you're gonna mess up is either the color or you got it unelongated on a round front, which means it's hanging out all the way out to here. Okay, it's gonna be very obvious it's not the right one. We got the right one, so let's move forward and get rid of this old stinky thing. Okay, a lot of toilet seats just use a straight screwdriver up top, okay? Now they may have like um, a little winged nut on the bottom to hold on to. Uh, most of the time it's, it's long enough where it actually catches the side of the toilet. So you may spin it first, but then it should catch the side of the toilet and, um, and, and lock against it so you can unscrew it. This one here doesn't have that wing nut. Feels more like a, I think it's gonna be similar to the one I've got going on. Let's take a look real quick. Okay, so it's a little socket on this one. Let's see what we can do to make the other one easier. Okay, I just did the second one by hand because it's a similar design to the new one, but it's not the same size. So I don't have the socket down here. I have to go all the way up to the garage. So anyways, whatever, just take it off. This point here, hopefully you didn't destroy your box because we don't want to touch this toilet seat any more than we have to. So we're just going to slip it back into that box. And that's pretty gross. Let's fix that first. We don't, we don't have to look at that. Ugh. Okay, that was gross. I'm sorry you guys had to look at that, but it's much cleaner now. I can wash my hands two times too. Whew. Ugh. Ugh. Toilet stuff. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now let's get that little bag of parts. Don't worry, this is the clean one. <laughs> this is a brand new one. All right, here we go. So we got these special locking nuts for the bottom, which is really nice because they have these little breakaway things. So when it, enough tension hits it, it's gonna snap off, okay? And these ones here on the new one are set for five eighths inch uh, socket, or I think it said, or a 16 millimeter would also work. All right, then we got a little plate here where the screws are gonna go. You've notice the screw doesn't have a slot for a screwdriver anymore. Now it does have an arrow, so it doesn't matter which way it goes. All right, so front and back like that works. If you put it, try to put it sideways, you know, you would think it would fit in, but it doesn't fit in. Okay, so here we go. And then these little clips here, and here is what can lock the latches on the toilet seat. So this one can, this one's designed, you can take it off, uh, put it on and off real easy to clean. So that, that, that nastiness you just saw should have, been, <laughs> should have been cleaned. All right, so let's go ahead and just get these ready. All right, I got both these. Put together our nuts. We're just gonna set to the side for the minute. Okay. Okay, looks like I've got these little plastic things, I guess to keep these latches, you know, safe and shipping so they don't pop open or something. So let's just take these off. All right. Now we can open them up. Okay, and then set the toilet seat in place. And actually on this one here, it's a little bit newer design. So before we set it in place, let's take these and slide them in. Okay, very cool. And then we'll take this one here, do the same thing. That way everything's squared up with the seat. Okay, and now we're gonna take these, just drop those bolts down the two bolt holes. All right, now this part's gonna be kind of nice. So I always hated trying to hold these with a screwdriver. And some of the old ones, they did not like to be held with a screwdriver. They would try to strip out every chance they got. 
All right, so we're gonna take these nuts and there's kind of a, um, a washer kind of built in there. So that's gonna go up top. We're just gonna get it set. We're gonna start the threads, okay, on both sides. Okay, make that sure the toilet seat is lined up. Okay, kind of squared up with the toilet. Now, instead of using a hand ratchet, which you can definitely do, I have an impact and my uh, daughter and son-in-law graciously gave this to me for Christmas. And this one's kind of neat. It actually has a power setting uh, for the forward speed. So I got it set on low. So if you're gonna use a power tool, make sure it's like on the lowest setting or just barely pull the trigger. Uh, Cause you're just going to kind of rip this apart if you don't. All right. Okay. Now, as it was snugging up there, before I snap the end, I want to go ahead and, oh, my dog's sound like they're being crazy, get the other one kind of snugged up. Okay. Make sure everything is square, lined up. These have notches on them so you can kind of move the seat forward and back just a little bit so you can line it up with the actual toilet itself. It's a very nice design. Now I'm going to set it back on there. Okay, trying to freehand this here. Okay, maybe we need more power. There we go. You see it snapped off. It's in the socket and we are all tight down here. Okay, so this point here, it is able to remove the toilet seat by just sliding it out of the brackets that we just installed. Okay, very cool. Slide them back, square it up, lock the caps, and we now have a working brand new soft close toilet seat. Now I tell you what, this sounds like a crazy thing to be, be happy about, but that little bracket there, uh, snapping off on the bottom, so it's nice and snug on its own, and then just having the way that toilet slide, slides out of that. Some of the early designs of these easy takeoff toilet seats seen clean underneath them um, broke loose after a while. I got one upstairs where if I uh, lean to the side, you know, to grab some toilet paper, forgive me, um, one, one of the uh, opposite side hinge will, will unsnap and all of a sudden the seat's kind of like, I'm like, oh crap, you know, so I'm a 200 pound guy, which I'm not light, but I'm definitely not really heavy. So just imagine how easy that would be to pop off on someone who's say 300 pounds. Okay, so really happy with the new design on this church toilet seat. Anyways, let's just wrap this thing up. Please share this video. Take a moment to send it to some other people that maybe really could use this. If you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button, click on the bell for notifications, check out my website link. Hundreds more videos organized really, really well. And there is another video for you to check out. You guys have a great one.